All right, guys. <sighs> Here we are. This is episode 11. Excuse me. Of the Comprehensive Chris Chan documentary. Now, the last one was really... It was a lot. I'm going to be honest with you. It was a lot. It was upsetting. I'm hoping that it gets a little better from here. Um, I'm sure I'm right. Right? I'm sure I'm right. We played it. What made him this way? What is the attraction? Okay. What keeps us we gotta, fascinated? We gotta play it a little faster. This is the story of Chris Chan. Okay. This is the story of Chris Chan. Of Christian Weston Chandler. All right. March 16th, 11, 2009, right? yeah. was scheduled to be Christian and Emily's first date, but wow. he left the meeting place before she arrived. He subsequently made a video Why? apologizing for his conduct. I apologize deeply for uh, missing our meeting earlier today, but uh, yeah, my, yeah, my mom uh, was in disbelief, but yeah, also my father was in full belief, and uh, <laughs> still conflicting, all the conflicting, all the conflicting opinions and whatnot, it just made me feel unsure. But I promise. Did he think? Did he think that it was a troll? Is that what? I mean, this guy, dude. I mean, this guy has to have some kind of PTSD. I'm not even kidding. It's not a joke. Like, what just happened? Chris Chan thought he was dating a girl, then thought that that girl got like on the line, then thought that girl got kidnapped, then uh, he had to choose between that girl and his PSN account. And then uh, the person said that you can get it back and you shove something up your butt and blah, blah, blah. And then he was publicly humiliated in front of a bunch of dumb fucking losers. So, you know, I don't know who Emily is exactly. It's hard to keep up with the names. But I wouldn't doubt that this guy has fucking PTSD, bro. It's crazy. I promise, Emily. I promise. I will. And that's chance, I, that's opportunity we, uh, we schedule a meeting. I will definitely make it. Hmm. I did drop by the uh, mall. In front of the uh, Chick Fil A, there. Okay. I called out for Good you, choice. but uh, no response. Okay. So I just didn't know what to make of that at that point as well. I get that. I get that. Anyway, yeah, uh, call me back, and uh, hopefully we will get a chance to meet in person on the next chance we get, and I just won't uh, inform my mother about it. They planned to meet again on the 19th. I bet I did, buddy. Right after. He filmed another video in which he apologizes for his behavior at the game place, which resulted in his ban from the establishment nine months prior. I wish to apologize to Michael Snyder for that mistake I made over nine months ago that got me kicked out of the game place. I miss my Friday nights over there. I, I, I was, it's interesting because you would think that you would apologize to this person, right? Um, and so it like, makes me wonder, like... How does Chris perceive these interactions? Like, how does he perceive this? Like, why wouldn't you? And I wonder um, if it's because he thinks that, like, this is real. And he has a trouble distinguishing um, this world versus, like, the actual, like, real world, uh, for the back of, lack of a better term. Which people in general already have an issue with doing. Like, it's one of those things where it's like, they feel like, oh, this is real life, and then like, oh, but when you get off the internet, none of this really matters. For the most, most of the time, obviously, you can carry over into real life. For the most of the time, none of this matters, so. And and, oh, maybe he thinks everybody watches videos. Yeah, that's also a, a decent point as well. That's also a, quite a probability. How are their beard hairs stuck underneath the microphone? Like, just jammed in there. Real deep. Incredible. And I wish to uh, come back, and, and also in addition to that, Y'all are the only place in town that has uh, eye judgment cards. So, uh, okay. call me and oh, let me know so. if I can come back and also resume my uh, responsibilities to the Pokemon Lake. Definitely, that's a uh, big, that's a big input there. Mm -hmm. It's a big one. Alright, take care. It was around this time that Ivy, who had been up to now only watching Christian's videos, decided to surprise her friend Rachel by convincing Chris to give her a shout-out in one of his videos. Oh, At a later date, cute, Ivy hopefully. recounted that when she first called the Chandler residence, Bob picked up the phone, but then swiftly relinquished the receiver to Barbara because she is in charge of messages for Chris. God, what followed was secretary. an intensive 30 minute long question and answer session, which Chris's mother used to confirm the genuineness of Ivy's identity. Satisfied with her answers, Barb handed the phone over to Chris. 
Ivy eventually convinced him to grant her the shout-out, which was featured in a video released on the 18th that mostly focused on Chris's plans to participate in an upcoming Eye of Judgment card game tournament. Okay. Warming up for the Eye of Judgment uh, tournament, which uh, hopefully I'll be in the top 100, where if I am, I'll be uh, one of the 100 winners to uh, get set uh, three promo cards, including the wow. more, lo more uh, lovely version of uh, Eden the Prosecuted. Persecuted, okay. uh, which is, what, uh, I forget one of those. Uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, and also, I would like to give a shout-out to uh, I'm Ivy and her friend Rachel across the hall from each other at a college here in the United States. How come nobody's ever asked Chris to spell IMAP? I feel like that would just be funny. Uh, maybe I'm just stupid. America. As he mispronounced Ivy's name, she called him again and asked him to refilm the shout-out. After profusely apologizing for it, Christian agreed to do another take and admitted that if things didn't work out with Emily, he would consider Ivy as his sweetheart. Wow. On March 19th, Emily prepared to go on a date with Chris in Charlottesville on, Fashion Square. Friend. She was accompanied by three other trolls, one of whom, who will be referred to herein as the Pickle Man, was the one who accompanied Robert Sims V on his recent church visit. Emily's friend, referred to as Cam Girl, was in charge of covertly capturing videographic evidence of the event, Pickle and Man. Frosty supervised the technological aspects of the operation. The entire event was recorded by an audio capturing device on Emily's person. Are you wearing a thong? Yeah. I thought it'd be fucking tight. It's like... Nothing popped out while you're walking over. like... <laughs> so it's my vibrant. <laughs> okay, if you get like way too close to me, I'm just gonna be like, get my chair farther away. What? Oh my god. Are you ready? What does Mama got think of Chris? You know, that's a very interesting question. Because my, my wife doesn't know too much about Chris Chan, but my wife is... Um, she's a behavioral specialist for adults with disabilities, uh, if, if you guys didn't know that, because I, I say it constantly. <laughs> What's interesting, though, is that I made a video for my main channel that's uh, kind of a recap of the first 10 episodes, you know, like a way to kind of like, you know, hey, people, hey, guys, you, you know, I'm doing a Christian thing. Um, because I was also offended, like, I was not offended personally, but I was like, I was moved by that, like, horrible thing that the people did to troll Christian. And, uh, you know, she she watched some of it and she's like, this is really interesting because like I she's like, you know, I feel like a couple she's like, I felt like you would have just written him off because like last year or or, or like, I'm like, I'm not articulating very well. She was like, I'm, I'm surprised that you're sympathetic to Christian considering I feel like last year you probably would have just written him off because of what he did to his mother. And she's like, <clears throat> it's really interesting that you're more empathetic to what happened now that you're looking at his past and like th that you're open to. Um, like understanding that that was probably a huge factor in why he did the bad things that he did. So, you know, yeah. So she thinks that like it's all fucked up, but she's not like super invested in it. Uh, she doesn't personally like watch stuff. Yeah, I'm ready. It's gonna be my best acting moment ever. Um, there's some bitches like nearby. Um, just sitting watching with Bob Lee's go change. I have to put more. Yeah, it's a horrible thing to do to empathize with people who've done terrible things for sure. But I truly think that Christian would have done those horrible things to their mother if it wasn't if those trolls didn't fucking troll the shit out of him, you know? Oh, how long was this taking place? Like 10 or so years ago. Like, the documentary was made... It might be 2009 when this is taking place. I'm not sure. Let me see something. Does he love it? Yeah, it looks like it's actually listed. It's 2009 right now because he put this. It looks like he dates it at the time that the video uh, takes place around 2009. Because I just looked at the most recent one and it says like 2019 or something. I think that's the new update. But Bob continues to discuss his work history with Emily. Hey, so they make no, you listen to my father. He goes, he's something because I get some of my intelligence from him. Yeah, he must have the logic. I get some of my intelligence from him. Yeah, I. <laughs> I bet, Chris. <laughs> I'm sorry. So intelligent. Then I got into how to roll paper so you could get clean that. And of course, he's the guy that designed the controls for all the plastic voting machines. So about him at this time, he couldn't have the plastic for your glasses. 
industry of coal uh, lines, warehousing, yeah. automatic transition like Mark, the Bay Area Rapid Transit, mm -hmm. automatic railroads, all that kind of stuff. You've been through a lot. And then I went through the automated tanker ships so you could run them from the bridge and have nobody downstairs. <laughs> Just some of those Want some water? No, thank you. And uh, but now I'm uninundated with all the stuff I did, and I don't know what I did to the world. I think you did. But I can't. You did a lot of things. Yeah, you know, I'm proud of him anyway. This, this documentary was created in 2019, and I believe that this, the, it's right now, it's 2009, what they're talking about. That's the point I was trying to make. It's a compliment, accomplishment. Uh -huh. He's got a half brother that's a doctor. His son. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. And he's got a, I have a daughter, which is the past He's working for the federal government somewhere. He's got a PhD now. Damn. I'm not very good at math. <laughs> I'm good at math. Uh, I'm good at math when it comes to managing money. <laughs> <laughs> you're lucky anyway, you're not going to have your plastic lid on. <laughs> this, right? We're working with him now. Then we'll come years. down here. It was a job. Most of that time I've been retired so I can do it. I just, uh, I, I enjoyed my life. I have opportunities that most people don't have. That's good. I hope that, like, you know, I can travel around the world and, you know, do some journalism, like, overseas. I've been to Australia, and I've been to Korea, and I've been to okay. England. Uh, it, it was interesting. I wish I could get, find out what Christian was doing. He's pretty good at drawing yeah. and writing. Yeah, you, you should know. You, see, you should know. You've seen a bunch of my artwork. Yeah, it's really good. A lot of my, my friends like it as well. He's creative. Bob elaborates on his interests in gardening and music. And Christian. Well, he seems to be a rather supportive uh, father, so that's good reveals that his favorite artist is Britney Spears. In fact, Bob Incredible. leads the conversation for the entirety of their encounter, with Chris interjecting infrequently and briefly until he and Emily are left alone when Bob goes to order spaghetti. Yeah, you know, you, uh, I must say you look good. Oh, Very thank good. you. And you know, you are the first uh, female science fans that have actually come a long distance to see me. Well, well, I mean, right. at least all the way from uh, West Virginia. I mean, yeah. that's part of the BCU. Yeah. <laughs> we might take a road trip down here. Take a road trip. It's a little road trip. <laughs> 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 wow um i it's so cringe and i feel so bad because i think christian is just trying to be impressive because we all used to do that we all used to do things that are uh, impressive to some people uh they're weird when you're young because you find cringe things impressive like i remember back in the day i had a friend and he was dating a girl and i liked that girl so i decided to we were hanging out at my house decided to jump off my stoop multiple times because i was cool Girls like that kind of shit, right? So that's the same energy, <laughs> and it's uh, I just I feel bad, you know. So is that the one that scared that child? Uh, the, oh, at Wendy's. Uh, I don't know how. No, not, not really. No, not really scared. You see, he was tired. Oh, okay. So you, oh. yeah. Uh, you, might, you don't mind person. if I, if I uh, have my hand on your shoulder? Oh, uh, not for too long. <laughs> okay, <laughs> not not for too long. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is like wow! I finally get like this beautiful girl in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And she's like, and she actually got to know me. Yeah. Yeah. If he was attractive, she would be all over it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Something being creepy, only creepy if you're kind of ugly. Okay. It's like you know, uh, yeah. So what's your, what's the reason you need your glasses for? I'm your side myself. Yeah, I'm your side as well. I don't uh, have very good eyes. But it's like you know we're close, so it's like you know we don't need glasses to see each other. Yeah. Really. No, it's so blurry. Yeah. How you like without that hat? I mean, I'm like, I like to see the. Uh, I, I like this hat. My hair doesn't look good today. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> How's my hair look? It looks good. <laughs> Boy, I had to sleep in against pillows, and I took a shower before I went before I went to crash on the couch. Oh. Yeah, but I put on some uh, body spray, some body spray before I left. Do you like that smell? Oh, which one is it? I believe it's uh, called Proximity. Oh, I really like the new chocolate one. Oh, the uh, Dark Temptation. Yeah. I was running low on that can anyway. Oh, okay. It's like I, if I, if I, if I, if I was hooking up, I would have gotten more of that. <laughs> uh, but dude, no, you are cute. Oh, thank you. As the three are having lunch, they talk mostly about Chris's significant life events intermingled with those of Bob. After they finish eating, they take a stroll through the mall. We've been to a lot of parks together. I keep telling him now that he's young and I'm old and crappy. Why don't you take me to the park? Oh! He won't do it. This is him. Yeah. 27 years of my life for you. Why can't you spend 27 years of your life for me? Because that beats the same. I won't live that long, I know. Oh. <laughs> I spend time with you, Dad. Like, I'm spending time with you now, and I do a go to my mom, meet Emily. Before, uh, you know, when you think of the mom and my door talking. <laughs> well, I'll see you later. Yeah, I love her life. All right. Okay, you can show me around the mall. Okay. Wow. What? <laughs> like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just kind of fascinated, like, he just left, it's like a character from PTSM or somebody else that came all the way to 
what is P PGSM apparently is Pretty Guardian Sail What the fuck is Pretty What? Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon. What is what is that? Is that what Sailor Moon is supposed to be called? Wait, hold on a second. I've never heard this before. I'm being weird. Uh, it's a live action series. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. I never knew about that. That's cringe. Yeah, just whipped out. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm definitely all American. Okay, so that's just the yeah. eyes are just That's good. He's yeah. probably like, yes, good, good, good. <laughs> Hope you don't mind me sticking around your left side. Oh, that's <laughs> okay. That's fine. Does this go away if I do this? I guess I should keep my hands to myself and behave, right? Yeah. Why would I ever want... Why would I want to ever build this? This you, Oh, you put a monkey on top of it. Oh! Wait a minute. I do want this. What the fuck? I could do that. Shit, dude. Oh, shit. Oh, snap, bro. Okay. I don't know what kind of monkey I'm going to make that, but okay. Uh, you should probably do that. I mean, I'm just trying to be friendly. <laughs> well, I gotta get going soon. It's going to be a long drive. Long True. drive. Yeah. I hope that you at least uh, keep the memories uh, we've shared. Yeah. You know, I'll walk you to your car if you want. Now, if I have to go to the bathroom first, is that time of month? Yeah, I need to run your Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Out from a nearby store, the pickle man, donning a pickle costume, intrudes oh on them. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, so, um, what one do you guys see? Watching the kitchen? Uh, no. I haven't seen that movie. Um, any particular reason why you dressed up like that? <laughs> Come on, Emily. Oh, what? Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Maybe you want to go with me. Oh, you wanna, you wanna no, no. Lots of, uh... Wait, what's wrong? <laughs> oh my! Apparently, this guy's amongst the trolls. Ah, <laughs> yes, he is. He is amongst us, and he's very suspicious, like a popular, like a character from this popular hit video game called Among Us. What are you? I'm a pickle. You're a pickle. I love pickles. Oh yeah, my I'm god! Pickle. And who are you advertising? You're just dressed up as a pickle. This is so oh, terrible. Okay, cool. yeah. This is terrible, dude. <laughs> this is so fuck okay, so it's obviously not as bad as the previous troll we just saw, <coughs> but that's really fucked up. Like they they orchestrated this entire fake date just so that they can just so that they could do this. It's fucked up. I mean, it's, I'm I'm sorry, I'm laughing. It's just really fucked up, you know. But holy shit, it's really mean, dude. This guy gets fucking bullied constantly. This is the first time a girl met up with him, and it doesn't mean that she has to want to fuck him or whatever, you know, or like him or anything. That's totally fine. But he's, but, damn, bro, that's fucking hurtful. That's hurtful. Yeah. Uh, you probably already seen Watchmen, haven't you? I've heard of Watchmen. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Something. You know, like pickles? Yeah, I do not like pickles. Pickles. And also, particularly a guy that pickles who tricked me on the internet and said that he was Blanca. There's nothing wrong with him. He's Blanca. <laughs> Uh, I, th I think you're making the lady a little uncomfortable there. Uh, I'm sorry, Emily. It's okay. Uh, I think I have, I have to go to the bathroom now. Yeah. Yeah. Go change my tampon. Well, we're gonna go now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to the bathroom. Oh, you know, you know, uh, we're really good together. Are you with her? Now we are. We're gonna go. Now, no, no, she's coming. No, you gotta go back to West Virginia, don't you? We're gonna see her. Watchmen's not that long of a movie. Yeah, five hours drive. It'll be okay. Oh, yeah, I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh. Okay, it's so on. fucked up, dude. Like, why? Like, why? This is fucked up. This is the first time Chris met somebody. Like, like you know, I get it. You don't have to be all flirtatious. But, like, she knew. She was there to delete him on and then to deny him and then have a guy in a fucking pickle costume come out and be like, hey, hey, you want to date me, though? And he's like, oh, sure. Jesus Christ. Emily spends four minutes in the bathroom while the pickle man and Chris have a conversation outside. Yeah. Who recorded this whole thing? I'm, uh, my car's that way. Oh. Cause you don't need to walk me to my car. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so you have yourself a safe trip back oh. to uh, West Virginia. Okay, I might call you on Skype later. Okay, just take care. You too. Hey. No. <laughs> no, 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 thank you. 
Okay. No, thank you. Okay. All right. All right. See ya. All right. You too. <laughs> Wait, there's there's Rossi. What? Hopefully he's gone now. I'm gonna go tell him what happened. Okay. Yeah. Still recording. After Emily left him for the man in the pickle suit, Christian made his way back home alone. As he was about to find out, a troll who went by the pseudonym Brian Bash had sent a small group of prostitutes to Chris's house. Nice. Bob handled the matter by calling the authorities to have them removed from their property. Later on, he took down the original video in which he said Ivy's name incorrectly and re-uploaded it with a second take of the shout-out spliced in, replacing the original section. Because of the trolls. And also, I would like to give a shout-out to Ivy, sweet cow pal of mine. <laughs> And her friend Rachel across the hall from her in a college within the United States. Okay, that's nice. So if I term it then I... Furthermore, he inserted a special message concerning the man in the pickle suit. And also, uh, those from the captain's log on start date uh, March 19th, 2009, I would like to make it obvious that uh, due to a recent event that has uh, gone awry by an individual, uh, he has been reported to the police, as well as uh, the owner of the store that which uh, he has emerged from, and so, you will be pissed up by the police if uh, you try to do anything else that's funny. So, watch your back. Peace. Chris is definitely ahead of, uh, of his time. We talked about how Chris uh, created Let's Plays <clears throat> um, and other things that I forget specifically. Oh, cr Chris created the term with peace and love. That is Ethan's term, but Chris actually created it. And Chris also just created arresting people over jokes. <laughs> So, hey, like, uh, you know, if you do anything funny, they're going to pick you up. Chris is a fucking trailblazer. You guys know it. That afternoon, Emily called Chris, expressing her feelings about their date. I think we need to talk. It's it's not me, Chris. It's you. And, oh, you know, I was just on, thinking bro. about yesterday. And, you know, I really didn't appreciate you, like, constantly touching me, okay? You, like, just met me. And you were touching me constantly. No. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, sorry. you try to kiss me, okay? That's not right at all. I think it's okay to try to kiss somebody. Oh, fuck, I don't want to do that. It's okay to try. If they say, like, you know, you should usually say, can I kiss you? But, like, you didn't do anything, like, super horrible, but okay. I was, I was nervous okay, a little bit. Why would you try to kiss somebody if you're nervous? I mean, I thought, like, people would get nervous and not try and kiss somebody. You probably ne never hear from me again, Chris, because oh the pickle man was just, he was a perfect gentleman, okay? He, like, took me out on a date and paid for my movie, <laughs> and, like, since he kept his hands off of me, he got, like, a little extra extra from me, and that could have been you, Chris. Okay, so, and then he took me to meet Clyde. Bro, that's just, like, so, that's, like, the worst. You know, because you, Chris doesn't realize that this is a troll. Chris thinks that this is all still real. So, if, imagine, like, sitting there, you get to know this girl's dad and everything. You talk like you fucking care about this person. And then you're like, ah, just kidding. Like, what a shitty move to make. And I hate this whole thing. And people do this in general to be manipulative, where they'll do this thing where they're, like, um, they'll be a piece of shit to you. And then, um, after you finally, like, don't put up with it, they'll be like, oh, they'll say, like, well, if you put up with it, I would have given you this, but they never would have given you that thing, you know? Right. It's fucked up, And bro. Clyde's, like, a perfect gentleman as well, so I'm going to be living in this mansion from now on. Okay. Mm. Anyways, did you get uh, back to West Virginia okay? Yeah, well, I didn't exactly go back to West Virginia. I'm going to be living with Clyde now with, uh, with Julie and Blanca and oh Sarah and everyone else, Chris. You don't understand, like, all the women that you've mistreated in the past, they're living with Clyde because he is rehabilitating them. Uh, all I can say is, uh, I'm sorry if I, if I mistreated you, and uh, it felt like I uh, did wrong. Because I don't know what, what you have, like, against, like, these men in the pickle suits or whatever, because he was just a guy in a pickle suit. I don't understand, like, what was so, like, threatening about him. You, like, didn't know this guy, and you're already passing judgment on him, and you're already, like, you passed judgment on this on Clyde, okay? Clyde's, like, the nicest guy ever, okay? Like, he's going to be, like, taking care of me for the rest of my life, because he is loaded with cash. Hmm. Hence why his last name is Cash. I see. That makes sense, yeah. All right, well, uh, if that's what you want, uh, I can't uh, force you out of anything else, so... Uh. But you should be careful, Chris, on, like, all the women that you encounter. You better make sure that you treat them properly. Do not touch them on the first date. Don't try to fucking kiss them. And, you know, you'll have no problems. But if you do, you know, the pickle men will... Yeah, he, does he know Julie wasn't real? Yeah, I mean... <sighs> That's what they told him, but I don't think that he... He probably didn't process this information. I don't think he still realizes it's a troll, you know what I mean? Yeah, it is fucking me, bro. Come and take them away and take them to Clyde, and he's going to take care of them for the rest of their lives as well. I see. All right. Okay. All right, well, you, you take care of yourself. 
And why don't you take care of yourself too, Chris, okay? Bro, Chris is just trying to d disengage. Yeah. Okay, bye bye. Soon after, Clyde okay. Cash called Chris, taking the blame for the misadventure concerning the prostitutes. Uh, hello? Hey, Chris, it's me. It's Clyde. Anyway, I'm just wondering, like, uh, I was trying to help you with your aversion problem, and I sent over some fine ladies over to your house. Uh, how does that work Let's out for you? build the city. Ah, uh, so you were the one that sent them over, huh? Well, for your information, uh, my family uh, was very uncomfortable with them being, being sent over. Well, you know, it, it does. I mean, obviously, this guy's just trolling. They didn't send it over to be helpful for Chris, but it's a very interesting conversation because you know, Chris is somebody who is having trouble finding sex, and so you know, what are what, what are the what are the morals? What are the morals of you know allowing people? With disabilities, to hire prostitutes. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's an interesting question because on one hand you might be like, "Oh, well, I'm uncomfortable with it" or something. It might be weird, but on the other hand, you know, people with disabilities are people too, and it can be more difficult for them to find sex. And so maybe, maybe it's a good thing that they'd be able to pay for sex. And that could be incredibly stress releasing, like because fucking people with disabilities needs to really stress too. So it's just an interesting question, and you know, you know what I mean. It's interesting. It's something to think about. And uh, they and they reported them to the police, and they got turned in. And uh, yeah, we do not appreciate that. Uh, Chris, you claim to be a virgin with rage all the time. I'm trying to help you, man. So yeah, well, sending over prostitutes is not exactly a way of helping somebody find true love. Sex is not true love, Chris. Well, I guess that part's true. <laughs> yeah, are you still there, Clyde? Yeah. Yeah, keep your nose out of our business, Clyde. Look, I worry for your family and everybody, okay? I'm trying to look out for the best of you, Chris. There are much more evil men in this world. I don't know who you think you are. Chris, your voice changed. I'm telling you to bother, to, to cease bothering us, okay? Chris, your Otherwise, voice changed. your butt's going to be in trouble. Your butt's going to be in trouble. Is your because refrigerator back running? Back off. Oh my God. Don't call us anymore. Goodbye. Oh, so stupid. The ref is your refrigerator ready? Oh my god. Use the pokey flute, quick! Okay! Ah! Due to Emily's departure from his okay. life, Christian felt it appropriate to pursue a relationship with Ivy, which, from what is known, mostly developed through conversations over the phone. She okay. also shared with him drawings of the Sonichu protagonists and her Sonichu characters. But wow, th those are- Chris could never bring himself to compliment her. <laughs> Why does this one look so horny? Okay. And always criticized her technique. Why? He progressed the relationship by saying that only Wait, what? Why would he criticize it? It looks better than anything he's ever drawn. I don't understand. <laughs> what a fucking weirdo. After a couple of days, Is my refrigerator already feel a strong connection between them. On March 20th, Christian recorded a video professing his love for her. Hi, wow. Ivy. I love you. Mm, I can't stop. Isn't this <laughs> Isn't this so fucked up and like kind of sad though like, if you think about it? It's like um this is a person that like even if so, like I, it's probably another troll, but it seems like even if somebody's genuinely interested in Chris, he's still like just fucking. <laughs> he still fucking criticizes the fuck out of them. They can't even like they can't win. Like Chris, I, I want to be with you. Wow, you draw you draw like shit. So fucking kill yourself. You know what I mean? It's like what the fuck? It's like holy shit. Where does when does it end? Thinking about you. Hmm. For both occasions, I can say good morning. Nice. Wish you a happy day. Mm -hmm. Or I should go off to sleep. I could say good night. Wow, incredible. I'll be in your dreams. Okay. I love you. <sighs> okay, nice. Ivy, Ivy. Love you, Ivy. Ivy, Ivy. Okay. At least you're not the poison this kind. <laughs> okay. Seriously, though, no, I love you, Ivy. Oh, wow. I believe you all around. You know, I think that we haven't asked a question so far. And this question is, do you think that Chris would actually be a decent boyfriend? You know? Outside of the weirdness, do you think Chris would be a decent boyfriend? I don't know. I don't know if I don't know if Chris would be. I don't know. Cuz if uh, he seems like he might be a little bit toxic, <laughs> he might be a little shitty. I don't think he would be a particularly good date. Just fuck prostitutes, bro. Keep a happy thought. Okay. Ivy requested that he sing 
holding out for a hero by Bonnie Tyler for her, because she said that she considered him as her own hero. However, Christian wanted to use the cover version recorded by Fru Fru, as it was featured on his copy of the Shrek 2 soundtrack. Ivy insisted that he use the original, which was available on YouTube, because it reminded her of her father. Upon listening to it, Christian had trouble determining Bonnie Tyler's gender, but nevertheless begrudgingly agreed to use her version. So I don't know if that's going to get DMCA struck, so I can't like actually post that on my... <laughs> so I might have to get rid of that old part. They just played I Need a Euro uh, by Bonnie Taylor or whatever. What was funny, though, is that he didn't know if she was a boy or a girl. <laughs> fucking Chris is an idiot. Holy shit. I'm sorry, but it's fucking funny. Days later, he finally uploaded his own cover of the song. I'm here for it. Wow. The music video was entirely recorded using his PSI and features an uncharacteristically high amount of film editing. I need a hero. I'm holding out for a hero till the end of the night. Chris Mimes wow. playing a guitar line with his Guitar Hero controller. The video also features shots of a short comic which came to be known as Sonic 2 Special 1. Wow. The story concerns a bald villain known as Cly who kidnaps Ivy. Wow. So after midnight in my wildest fantasy Somewhere just beyond my reach There's someone reaching back for me Crazy. Chris transforms into Chris Chan Sonichu and eventually rescues her, finishing on a scene in which he heroically poses, waving his shirt like a flag, with Ivy holding on to his shirtless body. Morning wow. light. She's gotta be true, she's gotta be pretty, and she's got to be the sweetest thing in life. You know, it's so interesting about this this uh this picture of of Christian. It's very uh, masculine. It's very like it reminds me of, of He Man, if somebody with autism drew He Man, of course. <laughs> Which, you know, that's not an insult because, uh, you know, Chris, you know. But no, but seriously, it, it kind of reminds It's like interesting, this weird. Uh, I, I think Chris is obviously very, uh, very highly values, I guess, the idea of being like a masculine man. It's very interesting. And her name be Ivy. You miss Guitar Hero, bro. You know what's fucked up is that, like, I can't play, like, Guitar Hero or anything on Twitch. How lame is that, bro? It's fucking such a shame. Dedicated to her. Yeah. I love you, Ivy. Incredible. You are my hero, Christopher. You're Later that day, hero. Christian made a video issuing an important announcement concerning Megan Schroeder. I have uh, recently received a request from my old gal pal, Megan. Uh, some of you probably know her from the ED page. So many mistakes were made in the past. And she was the first of my gal pals to be caught up in a crossfire. on me every day. But... I ask now that uh, everybody who uh, everybody who sees her in person oh, and recognize her, please leave her alone and keep your opinions to yourselves. Nice. If you can't say something nice, say nothing. True, I agree. Plus, also think about this. Okay, I'm you thinking. You guys, stay on my good side if you want me to continue <laughs> making the comic pages oh, and getting wow. the Sanchi site back up. Which you know, in all honesty, I think that's a pretty solid incentive because those, those Sonic 2 comments are probably fucking gold. I, I made it a major priority in my two previous videos I uploaded onto YouTube. Christian is not that bad looking. He could have a girlfriend for the autistic people. Yeah, if he, if the thing is, it's like he seems to dislike people with like developmental dis or intellectual disabilities. He says they're slow in the mind. So Chris has evaporated an entire dating pool that would make them happy. And I wonder if that has to do with like, um, their parents' potential, like, negative perspective on people with disabilities. I wonder if that's part of it. Because it's really bizarre that somebody would, like, that he would be that, like, against it, with all things considered, you know? So I, I truly do wonder if that has something to do with it. I truly do. Like, yeah, it's probably the parents' fault. It's probably, like, some kind of weird internalized, um, like, phobia, I guess. And I, my new girlfriend Ivy, leave us alone. Mm, Back true, off. True. I agree. I agree. I swear, or I swear to God. Just don't do it, Chris. Get me on my worst side. Okay. Worst possible events. Oh. I will. Don't do it, please. Cease. Swear to God. I'm a, a little scared. So, just back off. I'm a little afraid. Back off. I'm not lying. I'm just a little scared. The following day, as per Ivy's request. Christian uploaded a video tour of his house, revealing the extent of the hoarding at that time. Here's a bathroom. I take my shower here often. Uh, use some, have some, 
and shoulders. Okay. Got some sink and it's commode. The, fuck is the a kitchen. Well, I just decided to leave the tree up without the uh, star on top. Yeah, it's a bit of a mess. Uh, at least we got enough room to warm up a pizza, wash dishes, all that good stuff. Bare essentials. And this was the living room again before we cleared it up with so much mess. I'm gonna go downstairs further. This would be the music room again before it got cluttered, but now my mom sleeps in here often. Oh, my family is a bunch of pack rats. Bathroom. What's going on in here? Hi, Pop. What's you up to? Going to the city. Okay. Get on out here. And nowadays the family room is basically used for my dad doing television, uh, a little bit of comfort, and sleep some alone on that bed over there. Yep. Some of the front yard. Uh, branch hit my ear. This is the front of the house. This would be my father's, some of my father's daylily garden. More beautiful I think they are whores time, now. But the flowers have not yet bloomed. Uh, my father's garden shed. Comes out here and listens to uh, music on warm days. Okay. All that good stuff in there. Debatable, but okay. Got a swing in there. Swing. Uh, a side of the house. Got bats in our belfry. Uh, that would be the workshop. Uh, again, or at least used to be a workshop before the inside got cluttered with more junk. This is Pie's pen. My dog. Okay. Yeah, God rest her soul. God bless her soul. Yeah. Buried her right there next to the gazebo. There's a doghouse. Okay. That'll be the uh, back door, but that door is cluttered with stuff, so we can't go in that way. <laughs> Jesus Christ, There's it's the, a uh, fire hazard. arch where I sat down and did that fun little picture of me and Patty sitting together. Hi, Lucy. Lucy, Lucy. Hey, baby. Hi, buddy. Just wondering about, aren't you? Yeah. If anything in here. That's our house. Oh, I can't Hope you enjoyed the uh, um. little bit of a tour. Have a good day. And uh, unless you're invited, unless you're invited, no trespassing. Okay, well then it wouldn't be trespassing first. Okay. That's our house. On the day that he posted his house tour on YouTube, he uploaded another video in which he expressed his anger at recent leaks concerning the private goings on of his relationship with Ivy. Major update. I am seriously ticked off right now oh, shit, because information about my girlfriend even though it was accidentally leaked to a trusted individual it turns out that that individual posed as one of my gal pals from high school apparently my my i i will i swear to god any <laughs> this is like fucking what is it the streisand effect personified i don't think anytime chris says tells anybody to stop doing anything that they're like you know what guys Let's listen this time, you know what I mean? I think it just gets like fucking worse and worse. ...thing to intrude in my life, to make me feel, uh, to make, in my life, and within my family... <sighs> I swear to God, comic will cease. But also, I swear to God that I will go to police with every handwritten document that was sent to my family. And we have handwritten, do we have a handwritten handwriting from Clyde Cash. And a typed letter within the envelope that has his handwriting on that envelope. I will go to the police. I swear to God. My Whoa. family and I will go to the police with all this information. So, That's crazy. in my romantic life, and amongst my true gal pals, in lose. my lifetime, and especially my girlfriend, back the fuck off! Holy shit, dude. This you back the fuck off. Chris, you're scaring me. You do not want to get on my bad side again. You're scaring me. Or even me, worse. Mmm, all that Clyde cast. I will buy his lights out. Well, I mean, if I don't... If I ever meet that bastard. I don't blame him for the response, <laughs> Jesus Christ. But anyway, I'll say it again. Leave me and my friends alone. True, I agree.
On March 28th, Christian released another video in which he professes his love for Ivy. Throughout the video, he is heard singing Loving You by Minnie Ripperton a cappella, which often overlaps with his dialogue of desire. Loving you is easy cause you're beautiful. So Making right love now. you is be so all I want to do. You've ignited more emotions you. in me. You say something about his biological clock? Any it's more than just a dream before. come true. You have inspired me all and over again. everything that I do like is no one out of loving you. Wow. No one else can make me feel. Honestly, this this section might also get the MCA struck because it's just it sounds just like the song, you know. Feel the colors that you bring. Stay with me while we grow old. Wow. And we will live each day in the springtime. Cause loving you has made my life so beautiful. And every okay. time wow. that we you That's actually drawn. He's improving in his drawing. Ooh, I'm more in love with you. La 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 do 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 I love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mwah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next yeah, day, yeah. Christian uploaded a video addressed to Ivy's alleged cousin, Flora, and her yeah. supposed concerns about flatulence. Uh, there are dangers about uh, holding in farts, but it's better to let farts out. I think that like holding in your farts can have like really negative impacts on you. I think you could contribute to heart problems. I'm not even kidding. That's but okay. And it's not dangerous at all to let farts out. If anything, holding farts in. Uh, there's yeah. a chance of uh, getting hemorrhoids or... Uh, I don't know that, but maybe... Kind of possibly doubles the risk of colon cancer. Yeah, guys, listen. Don't hold your farts in. Let them out, okay? Ready? If you've been holding that fart in, I want you to take a deep breath. <sighs> Breathe. And on three, we're all going to fart together. You ready? One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, well, yeah. Christian reads out some facts about human flatulence functions. Yeah, but besides which, uh, you know, farting tr is a sign that uh, you are alive. I mean, true. second most important I sign. think one of the first things you do, though, when you die is fart and shit yourself, so maybe that's not true. Oh. Let you know, not to remind you that you're alive, aside from breathing. You breathe, you're alive. You fart, you're alive. All animals fart. So, but uh, anyway, Flora, it's uh, okay to fart once in a while. <laughs> if you uh, prefer to keep it private, that's fine. You uh, take it to the bathroom. Yeah. You know, so interesting. When my when I first started dating my wife, she um, she would fart, but she would get up and leave the room to fart. And uh, one day, I was like, "Don't even worry about it. Just fart." She's like, "Okay." And she started farting in front of me. I swear to Christ, she sw saves every fart now for me. Okay, every time she's in the room, just fucking blasting it, blasting it. And it is what it is, man. You know, you sometimes you just gotta go. But it's like, holy shit. Uh, if people remember, there was a song written about uh, the joys of farting. <laughs> True love. Exactly. I like fancy learning. And when I fart, my wife actually likes the smell of my farts now. It's interesting. Like if it smelled the exact same from anybody else, she wouldn't like it. But for some reason, like she likes my farts. My life, my wife is obsessed with me. It's incredible. It's an incredible. It's an incredible feeling to have a a, a, a a person this obsessed with you. It's crazy. It is very sweet. Yeah. So are my farts. <laughs> books i like apple tarts i like cozy breakfast nooks i like modern arts wow. and i like farts yes i like farts i like to touch your butt your butt your butt yeah. isn't this from like a isn't this from like a stupid thing okay whatever I like farts if you got heart oh i've got heart oh this goes farts up to my start well flora i will help you get your flora started <laughs> Thank God he's playing that instrument. He's really driving it home. Okay. Sometime in the last days of March, a troll who posed as Clyde left Chris a violent voicemail in which he That's threatened why? to kill him. During the night that followed, Christian why? woke up to discover that he had evacuated in his sleep. Still fearing that Clyde Cash may break into his room and kill him, Chris schemed to- Jesus Christ, dude. Wait, did he- Dude, come on. This is like fucking insane, bro. It's not funny. Like, I don't understand. You're gonna like fucking threaten to kill this guy? Fool Clyde by putting a large stuffed animal under the sheets of his bed and placed a pair of sunglasses on its face. Chris himself hid under a pile of stuffed toys on his couch until morning. 
It was also around this time that Lord Silly Nipples contacted Chris in order to leak to him this photo of Clyde Cash. The person in question was in fact a man thought to be Lee Hardy, whose unusual appearance had caused him to become an object of ridicule on the internet over the past few years. Nevertheless, Chris believed this to be the real Clyde Cash. On March 30th, Christian uploaded three Why videos to his YouTube channel. Else? In the first of which, encouraged by Ivy, he expresses the hatred he has for his Encyclopedia Dramatica page and Clyde Cash. You know what would really inspire me to continue doing the comics? I'll tell you what, you take down that ED page forever. Just take it down. Delete it. How, did that work, Because that work, you don't, right? because that thing has been bothering me for so much, for that long time. Mm. And you know how the expression, too many cooks spoil the broth? Well, Todd, this was too many crooks. Too many oh. crooks. Too many crooks. Oh. And that ED page is one of those crooks. Mm. Mm. I agree. This makes me really angry. <clears throat> you know how it makes me angry? This is Clyde. And this is how angry I am for every waking moment that that ED page is up. Whoa. Don't hurt yourself, Chris. This is not a good spot, is it? No. This is not going to hurt yourself. Really. You want me to calm down? You want me to calm down? You want me to draw the comics? You take down that ED page. He later took the video down so he could re-upload it with an additional scene in which he demonstrates even further his detestation for Clyde. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh, you hear me? You are dead. You are dead. Wow. I am going to drag you right in front of everyone if we ever meet in public. I am going to shove your ass down your throat and make you eat your underwear. What do you say? Shove your ass down your throat. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh In the next God. video, Chris attempts to threaten Clyde by revealing what he thought was his true likeness. Laugh now, as much as oh. you want, Mr. Sendanero, because you have no money. I have your mug shot. I can't even stand to look at it. Oh, those damn freckles. You're a freak. <laughs> you, you ugly freak. <laughs> In the final video, Chris once again threatens Clyde and reveals that he would no longer make videos for YouTube at the request of his pastoral counselor, Rocky Shoemaker. Clyde, you are a liar and a vicious son of a female dog. Okay. Um, <laughs> does Christian's page exist anymore? <sighs> this will be the last video I upload to YouTube, but my Inspiration shall continue. Wow. To my loyal fans, thank you for your patience. They will continue to be rewarded. As for those who despise me, justice will be served. Wow. Peace. As it has been shown that Chris hardly ever learned from his mistakes, it should come at... Well, I mean, like, listen, this is a, someone with fucking autism. And all, honestly, it's weird that their parents aren't don't seem to be doing very much to help him learn from his mistakes, so no surprise that he would eventually return to YouTube to broadcast his daily life, to express his love for his sweetheart, to threaten the trolls, to refuel the fire. Wow. Good ending, though. Good ending. Always smacking me with those solid fucking endings. Wow, okay, part 11 wasn't so bad, because I was getting nervous, you know. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and another special shout out to all my Patreon and Twitch subs. If you'd like to support this channel further than you already have by just watching the video alone, go down to the links below where you can sub on my Patreon, which will allow you to get your name on this beautiful black wall. <laughs> uh, or you can go to the Twitch page and you can actually use a free Amazon Prime sub, if you have Amazon Prime, to subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. Take care.